We're gonna kill a million idiots as they try and get to my flower. Nobody touches my flower. And the more idiots we kill, the more experience we get. We use experience to level up, then we can get a lightning effect. We're gonna add a lightning effect to our original flower. And then we shock idiots also as they get closer, so we're off to a pretty good start. I'm not really sure what this little guy's deal is, but that lightning is destroying things so far. So we'll once again upgrade. Projectiles pierce greatly, but move slower. Firing a, an additional projectile also sounds good. I'm gonna fire an additional projectile. I don't know if great piercing would really be that good, because I don't know how heavy the enemies are gonna get. Okay, this one isn't actually that good because we now shoot around the enemies. When they get close, we'll hit them with double the bullets, but until then, we'll hit them with precisely zero. We're also gonna grow a new flower, and it's gonna have a faster attack rate, so it's gonna be a speed shooter. We're allowed to put that anywhere, apparently. I'm just gonna put it close to my first one because strategy forever eludes me. And the less I think, the better I do. That works for anything in my life. We already got another uh, thing. Projectile speed up, projectile slow enemies, and fire rapidly, but deal very low damage. Let's just go for some lightning effect. And I'm gonna add that to this flower because I don't think we can double lightning. We actually might be able to, I'm not really sure. Okay, that thing can spawn other bees and fire them at me, but we're gonna fire lightning back at it. Lightning defeats bees. At least it usually does. Adds a homing effect. That's going to be good for my double shooter because these things can actually hit something now, hopefully. Yeah, that's much better. We've got a focus to fire. And I don't really trust flowers to aim very well. Their eyesight isn't known to be reliably great. Okay, let's add a new flower. Rapid fire over a wide area. That sounds fun. Well, we also have explosions. I've never seen one that looks like this though, so I'm assuming this is a good one. I'm going to place that down over there. So there we go. We're able to stop everything. The enemies actually stack up really quickly, but when I get closer, they have to deal with my little shotgun flower. It's going to start getting hard to know um, which flowers have which. An additional projectile, yes. We're going to give that to my new flower that's rapid firing anyway, so now it's super rapid firing. It's like a minigun, and we got big turtles and even bigger turtles. I'm using turtle here very uh, loosely. I don't know what that is. Fires two additional projectiles with less accuracy, yes because my center one has homing anyway, so it's now going to fire, I think, four projectiles, but they're going to home anyway, so that's going to be a big power. And we kind of need it, because there's a lot of enemies. I'm happy to sit back and murder everything, though. This is very pleasant. We're going to upgrade an existing big range boost. Uh, damage up also. I'm going to go do damage up for my main flower. I don't know if range is going to matter much. It probably is, but I'm a sucker for damage. My center flower is going to be really, really, really strong. It's firing four high-powered projectiles out that seek out the idiots. So far, so good. There's a lot more idiots coming in now. Fire an additional projectile. I'm going to give that to my center flower because uh, if we just keep upgrading it, it's just going to get stronger and stronger. Maybe we don't need other flowers. So far, it seems up to the task of destroying pretty much everyone, but we're getting red turtles coming in. And we know red means danger or stop or there's a fire truck. Fire two additional shocks, shots with less damage and accuracy. Ooh, let's do projectiles explode on contact. That's going to be good for my main flower. Now we're getting some AoE, I think. I think those explosions will hit the things around them. And the enemies are starting to cluster up pretty good, simply because there's a lot of them. Some of my small flowers are probably pretty weak in comparison, but as long as the idiots are dying, we're good to go. Projectiles orbit around you in a wave-like fashion. Does that mean my cursor? I think that means the flower. Yep, okay, so we got projectiles around the flower too, so anything that gets close is really going to be dead. Extra super dead. I think we're getting blue idiots coming in now. I think they're even stronger than red. But this just means more experience for us. I actually hope we get more and more of these. Because so far we're destroying them. I'm going to add another flower at some point though. As soon as I can. Uh, that way we're sure to get a little more damage going out there. Grow a new flower. Uh, this one is going to have increased experience generation rate. I'm just going to put that down here. Uh, I'm not really sure what the strategy is yet. But extra experience is going to work just fine for me. It's probably not going to kill a lot, but the little bit that it does is going to help us. I think we actually got hit there. I heard a sound that didn't sound great. I might be wrong though, because this might be our health bar at the bottom. Because as the top bar goes down, we get closer to the boss. By the time he arrives, he'll be hearing boss music. We're actually starting to get really, really strong. I don't know if piercing works, because we have explosions on our main flower. And would they explode and pierce? I have questions. Yeah, we'll try that, putting it on our main flower. This might also break us entirely, but... I'm hoping they explode and keep going to explode on someone else. Uh, and in fact, they might. It's a little bit hard to see amongst the chaos. As long as the explosions are still happening, that's all I really care about. I don't care if the penetration doesn't really happen, but it seems like it is. We have exploding penetration. And nobody here is safe. Mm, they're all blue enemies at this point, so it'd be nice to just straight up get damage upgrades. Might still need more flowers. 
I think the boss bar is dropping quicker too because we're just fighting more and more enemies as time goes on. Would have been nice to get an experience upgrade from the beginning, but I guess we're still about to hit level 15 so I really shouldn't complain. Not sure what that was, but they all got pushed back abruptly. Upgraded an existing flower, increased range and adds homing, lowers rate of fire. I don't need high homing. A uh, small critical boost chance? Yeah, why not? That's going on my main flower. It's not a super big upgrade, but the more crits we do, the better. Simply because more damage. We fire enough projectiles out of that thing that's got to actually stack up to quite a bit of DPS. Oh, the idiots got pushed back because we got hit. We lost 20% of our health. Uh, make that 40% of our health. We're gonna need- oh, they can actually reach my other flowers and like either hurt them or destroy them. Hopefully those respawn because yep, they sure do, but they can get hit. Oh, gateway is starting to take on damage. We gotta be a little bit wiser about our next upgrades. And we have a really big turtle thing coming our way. Uh, hopefully our swirly doodads did not- well, they killed him, but he got to us before that happened. Gotta keep firing. Gotta keep firing. Everything's fine. We're almost at the boss. That's why it's getting tougher. We just need one more little upgrade that's gonna carry us through this. Never mind. I think we're still close to the boss, but I think we lost all of our upgrades when we were 95% of the way there, so that doesn't bode well for our odds. Unless this happens to be a mega upgrade. I guess we'll just take projectiles pierce greatly. They're gonna move slower, but I don't care, they pierce. So they'll go right on through those idiots and on to nowhere. They are kind of painfully slow, but they'll still just continually go on and hit everyone, so if we fire four or five of those at a time, we'll be getting somewhere. I just took a big range boost, uh, simply because we could be firing those slow projectiles from way downtown now. And the enemies actually move back and forth. That kind of works out well because we'll fire a whole like fan of bullets out that will probably hit something eventually. And our bullets basically go to the edge of the map now, so... Uh, I'm gonna to put attack rate up. I'm not gonna do the dual shot until we get homing at least. And we'll just send out more piercing balls at this point. No one is safe now. And at this rate anyway, the enemies strafe back and forth, but they do run right into the bullets. Rate of fire increases, large accuracy, and range penalties. Yeah, that's probably fine. We had tons of range anyway, and accuracy doesn't really matter because they strafe back and forth, so wow, that's a huge upgrade to damage for us. It's wildly inaccurate, but we don't need accuracy. We need bullets. We're more of a spray and pray type player. Shots explode and deal more damage, but move slower. These things are not going to be moving at all pretty soon, but that might actually work to our advantage. Because they're basically not moving at all, but as soon as enemies get close to us, they're going to absolutely explode on those, or they're going to hit us instead. I might have ruined our build. I need faster projectile speed. Everything I have wants to slow them down. Projectiles explode with lightning speed decreases. Yeah, whatever. Let's just embrace it at this point. So the projectiles are barely moving to the point where the enemies can actually touch me before the bullet reaches them. Though we are starting to fan bullets out in all directions, so that's actually a really nice shield. I'm also going to buy a new flower at this point. I just need some help. Increase experience generation rate. Yes. I'm going to put that right here where it can kind of help guard my main flower. Uh, there's obviously a wall of damage. Oh, look who decided to show up. Oh, he's walking right through my damage wall, though. Oh yeah, we did have a reset in our flower, though. So we took off 5% of his health. Okay, this will help. Projectiles deal much, uh, deal less damage, but move more quickly. That's fine. We can balance that back out again, because I need this flower to actually work. Yeah, look how much quicker that is again. The bullets are actually going, like, full speed. And they can actually land on him. He's taken off 10% of his health. And he's actually dropping a lot of experience for us, too. And he's walking through our uh, wall of bullets, too. That's definitely helping us. He did touch us once, but then went into our wall. Supercharges projectiles with lightning? Yes. I do think I want lightning damage. That'll be especially good for him. We need to hit him with tons of damage. So now we're going to hit him. Yep, that's definitely actually chunking him pretty good. And it's just when he gets close, he's going to start hitting us again. I need that range. It really sucks that I'm not attacking him right now. Come on, hit him lots. Yep. It actually chunks him really good when it hits, but then he walks right into us because he's strong. Well, he's down to almost half health at this point, but I have a feeling pretty soon he's just going to walk into me because he can. There's so many good upgrades. We could have splitting projectiles, but I don't want- I need boss, so damage and projectile speed up. Those bullets will get to him quick and they'll hurt him more. Yeah, that's a little better there. Absolutely warping out to him. Damage is definitely up, but he didn't touch us. And for some reason, yeah, we get to go again, but we've also reset all of our upgrades. That's okay, damage and projectile speed up. We'll get him one way or another. Uh, attack rate up. We need to fire those shots off when he gets in range. He did also just drop for us a homing effect, so that's hopefully going to be a little more efficient damage to him. This way we don't have any excuse for missing. He does move pretty quick uh, laterally, so hopefully the bullets can keep up with him. What I need more than anything is range. Increase XP generation rate, fire two additional shots with less accuracy and damage. Yeah, but that's still fine because we'll fire three at a time. And with the homing, that's hopefully going to mean three shots hitting him. Then we're going to do faster attacks with less damage and more spread. That's okay because the spread is negated by the homing uh, ability. 
And if we just get those shots off quicker like that, that's a little better. We just need to come back into range. It's so annoying how little range we have. It's my own fault, but yeah, look at that. Once he does get into range, we absolutely start wailing on him. And this is what we need. Attack range up. Some of his other ones were good, but we need to hit him just a little bit further out. That's obviously going on my main flower. Then we should be able to hit him. Yeah, right now even. That's going to be way more damage overall to him. But I feel like every time he circles down, he tends to walk toward us here. Nope, he might be going for another lap. Or nope, he's coming in. That's bad news for us. I think I finally found the secret to defeating him. It was actually the projectile split on contact with enemies. Because I would hit his shots and then they would splinter and actually hit him. I right, now see what we need to do. We need to get a minigun that fires nukes. So it's just a matter of getting lucky and finding a rare upgrade to begin. Projectiles home and explode. Rate of fire decreases. That's okay, we can fix the rate of fire later. Because we're only going to need to fire a few shots at a time now. Those will home and they also explode. Those yellow upgrades I think are the rarest of them so they're going to be the best and explosions do hit I other idiots. We're going to turn our attack range up. That's simply a good one. We're actually hitting them way out now. And this is one of the very best ones we can find so early. Increase experience generation rate. That's going to add up to a ton of extra power as we go through this. Projectiles split on contact with enemies. I think that's another very important one. That gives us a very big multi-shot chance. Uh, and those actually splinter in all directions. That's something I didn't know. That's going to be the key to clearing out lots of these little bee things. And then we're going to add a lightning effect as well. That's also going to help clear things out. I still don't know if I should add more flowers or not. I could see the benefit, but I could also see how that might work against me. Fires two additional projectiles with less accuracy. Yes, we don't want to get too inaccurate, but firing three projectiles at a time and we're homing anyway, that should help. That's basically triple the damage. That is actually triple the damage because there's no penalty for that one. Increase experience generation rate. We're still early enough that that's also going to help in a big way. So maybe I should just put all the upgrades into this one flower because it's getting the experience upgrades. And so far it's wiping the entire screen basically continually. We got three projectiles that further split. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, more ex increased experience generation rate. This is still early enough that those will pay for themselves fairly quickly. I'm going to go all in on this singular flower. We can do this. Shots explode and deal more damage but move slower. That's okay because I'm pretty sure it's easy to put the speed back on. As long as they don't get too slow, like this is borderline too slow. We can't take any more speed decreases. But the shots will get to where they're going and they will explode and fracture and hit all sorts of things. Please fire that way. Thank you. That was really close. I don't love any of these and I can't go back to make another flower. Projectiles already explode. We could increase experience generation greatly, but we lose other stats to do so. So we'll just go range. And that's not going to hurt anything. I mean, we can hit things way far out now. So as soon as they appear on screen, we should be more or less sending projectiles their way. And not just like a few projectiles, a lot. But we're already starting to get into the red guys, so we need to start getting some more speed upgrades again. Projectiles, slow enemies on contact. Okay, that's great, I guess. Whatever we don't manage to kill, we will slow. And if they're slow out there, then yeah, that just gives them all the more time to take damage on the way in. That's fine by me. So far, damage isn't a problem at all, though. Our exploding, fracturing shots are really, really doing work. There's, uh, this one would have been good. We already have that, so we're just going to go with damage up. When in doubt, add more damage. It will carry you through any problems life goes your way. This is a lot of damage though, and there are a lot of homing. If we can increase the homing power a little bit more even, we'd be even more efficient at killing things. But because of our range of bullets make it all the way to the outer edge and then splinter, so they really, really take out everything. I like this so far, it's a very low effort build. I just sit here with a single flower and watch everything die. I guess we're just going to increase our range one more time because I don't really like the rest of these. The critical chance is nice, but I don't want to lose the base damage. But that's also good for us. That way, by the time the bullets get there, they've clumped up and they've well homed by that point. The further they have to go, the more accurate they're going to be is what I'm trying to say. And so far, our bullets are being very, very efficient. Look, they group up and just murder all of those little things. We need to start killing some stronger things, though. I am already level 13, though, so we're doing really good level-wise. Okay, here's a good one. Either projectile speed up or attack rate up. I think attack rate's good enough for now. That's more damage overall. And that should help us anyway. As long as we're getting more attacks out there, our splintering explosion should take care of the rest. And this way the enemies get a little bit of a chance to live. I mean, they're born just outside of the map. Then as soon as they're uh, alive, they basically get exploded. They're born to face down an absolute hailstorm of bullets. And at this part so far, we're actually starting to have trouble seeing enemies on the map. We just got so much damage going out. Like, those guys are supposed to be a problem. They evaporated. We still might have been better off with more flowers, but this one flower so far is really doing the trick. Even the red and blue ones. 
are disappearing very quickly, but we did stack a lot of damage in the early parts, so it's no wonder that this is so strong. Well, we can fire an additional projectile, so that's actually going to add a lot of damage. Now we're firing three, four at a time. I think four, yes, the one was hiding to the left. Four bullets at a time for extra, extra damage. I do think we're starting to get slightly stronger enemies spawning again, though, so we're going to have to be uh, aware of that. But we'll level up again soon, and then we can have faster projectiles again. Because this last 20% is where things start to get a little bit more intense. We're getting those light blue guys. I think that's the strongest of them all. But we're not seeing them for very long. So that's a good sign too. I didn't realize how close we were to the boss at this point. Just because everything had been dying so easily. I kind of zoned out. I think this is going to make short work of the boss. I don't think his projectiles are going to get to us very quickly. And we should be able to hurt him quite badly. Pretty much constantly. Yeah, <laughs> that's taking care of the boss. This is what I was looking for. He's just dead. He was alive for three seconds flat. Like I always say, it's all about the damage. 